You Holly Bitten people, you people that want a bargain. Let's start right off with saying this is a paid video. And many people say, oh, he's just in the pocket of Toman. Look, if you think that, please stop watching right now. It's utterly bullshit. Uh, there are quite a few Holly Bitten videos where I say, you know what? Yeah, maybe for the money, but it's not the greatest product. You can find these. 
I've sent guitars back because I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not reviewing that. It's just, I don't want to completely trash it, which is also what I do. So, but all this is a service that I provide and that costs money. Full disclosure, the links below that I very much appreciate if you use them, they also get me a percentage. If you don't like the instrument, don't buy it. It's that simple. Also, if I'm completely bullshitting you, and the instrument comes home to you and you're like, oh, he lied, it's crap. You can send it back. There's no point in me telling you anything that's not true because you can send it back. So I think it is no mystery or no secret that I'm a big fan of the Harley Benton SC 550. Now, is that a guitar I play daily? No, I have boutique high-end single cuts. Of course, I'm not playing my Harley Benton SE 550 daily, but I can evaluate it for you. I can evaluate it for you and tell you what I think. And I think that the SE 550 for 200 and something bucks was and is a ridiculous bargain. And we went to Toman and had it, had mine modded. You know, a lot of you are saying that was so stupid that you modded it, uh, spending all that money. I didn't spend any money on it. It was a promotional video. I also didn't get paid for it, but all the mods that were done on it were on Toman's dime. So what we did on this, my Harley Benton SC550, brand new ABM bridge, ripped out all the frets, did all the frets in stainless steel, and gave it a plaque job, which by itself is more expensive than the whole guitar. Uh, it has a GraphTech ratio locking tuners. It has Fishman Fluence active pickups. So Rev that guitar now is technically 1500 bucks. Now, years later, Harley Benton comes out with the SC550 Plus. Clocks in at 100 bucks more. And it looks like they almost did, Edward James almost, unless he didn't laugh about that yesterday. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> the Edward James almost did everything. I think that's funny. Did everything on this that we kind of did there. This now is active pickups, EMGs. It has locking tuners. Boodoink! Like that one. Not the graph check ratio, okay? But still, <sighs> this has been beefed up quite a bit. So my point is, I was always a fan of these. This is Harley Benton going to a whole new level. The little things that you could usually find on Harley Bentons, which is, you looked here and there was a little bit of uh, white paint, uh, no, glue residue that they didn't wipe off right. Come on, it's a guitar for 250 bucks. Of course, they're gonna cut some corners. Um, and the Nuts were not really filed all the way down. You always had to do a little bit of work on them. Um, on this one right here, for example, you can see that below the paint right there, that little, bl little bit of a speck. Can you see that little black spot there? That happened in painting and it's not nice. Although that top, come on, which is of course a veneer top, but that's ridiculously nice. So that's the old 550. I take the new 550 or the 550 plus out of the case, uh, not the case, it comes in a cardboard box. I take it out of the cardboard box and everything feels next level. No glue or paint residue, no little specks. I mean, look at this paint job. This is pretty much, look at it. It's just, it's a very flawless top. And maybe it's not stuff you can actually see and feel in a video. But I'm telling you, it just feels like it's the next level of Harley Benton. So I talked to Lasse, Harley Benton product man manager this morning on Skype, and he said, yeah, we went to a different factory. These are now made, or these are this, not the 550, but the Plus is made in the Court factory, which is where actually a lot of A-list brands come from. Ibanez has uh, guitars being made there, and many other brands go to the Court factory. Uh, PRSSEs have a whole separate line in the court factory. Those people know how to do guitars. So this is 369 and it, I don't quite get it because the pickups in it are EMG retroactive Fat 55 covered PRF style El Nico 5 hamburgers. And those pick those pickups, I looked up, if you buy them at Toman, 179 euro alone. 
That makes no sense. But okay, the pickups on this guitar, 179 euro, the whole guitar, 369. The locking tuners felt very much like the ones on the harmony guitar right there behind me, which clocks in at 1600 euro. And they're very good tuners. And I was like, this is very close. They're just a little bit more beveled than the harmony ones. But I have a hunch they're pretty much made in the same factory. So if we take a look at them right there, those are some nice locking tuners. First of all, nice looking. And secondly, they're buttery smooth. Extremely nice action. So yay. Uh, Novo Lute, we have a scarf joint, as is customary for a guitar like that. Can you even see that? Maybe you can, but that's okay. Um, really cool neck healy thing. No shapings in the back. That is for the custom, and there will be a video on the custom and even a comparison video of both. Let me let me look at the specs here. Um, we have a body made out of Akume, whatever that means. It says double A figured maple. It's a double A figured maple veneer. Okay, should say veneer. It's a glued in Nayato neck. Nayato is mahogany esque. Let's put it that way. Uh, roasted jitoba in the fretboard. White perloid trapeze inlays. This has a uh, binding. The custom actually has a binding around the headstock as well. I told myself not to talk about the custom, which is back there. So shut it ending. Uh, blah, 43 millimeters. It has a graphite nut, 22 medium jumbo frets. So no stainless steel like we put on there. Uh, volume tone, three-way. Tunomatic bridge is a WSC and WSC Schaller style, Schaller style locking tuners. Nickel hardware comes with tens, faded tobacco flame gloss, made in Indonesia, comes in a cardboard box, no case, of course. 369. The track yet that you heard at the beginning, I was playing, I was like, yeah, how is this possible? It just feels so mature. Now, before we go into sounds, and we're gonna go there really quickly because it's a freaking single cut, what else do you need to know? Two things. Let's talk about active pickups, and let's talk about this being a Les Paul. It is not. Now, Harley Benton started, like so many companies, as let's clone some big things and sell them cheap. And throughout the years, they are finding their own voice. And even though this, this looks like a single cut guitar, okay, the shaping is different. This bulges out differently. This is a little bit more pointy and stuff like this. But even more so, it just doesn't feel like a Les Paul. If you get a Epiphone, or Gibson, or like I have a Maybach, and I'm going to show you in a sec. Uh, they have a different feel. This feels like a single cut, like a modern single cut. Just like my uh, Prestige guitar doesn't feel like a Gibson. So if you're looking for the G or E feel, it doesn't have that. This is now, to me, a self-sustaining Harley Benton single cut. Again, let's look at the shaping. This is a traditional Les Paul shape. Everything very round. And I know we're talking about minimal stuff, but look at the upper bout, up the, the upper titty up here. And then the horn, more rounded. This is more sharp. And you would think, does that stuff really matter? No, oh, put this here. That's a bad idea. Would it feel different just because of these things? Yes. It, it actually does. Next topic, active pickups. Oh, are those bad? Well, all that happens is when you have a buffer on the pedal board, for example, to have longer cable runs, the buffer changes the impedance of the signal and allows for longer cable runs and l less losing of tone. It retains the upper frequency range and stuff like this. Imagine you have the buffer right here, which means that the first cable running into your pedal board is already not the biggest problem anymore because you're changing the impedance coming from the guitar, making it an active signal. That's why you need the battery. And therefore, right out of the guitar, we maintain more fidelity. We maintain more high frequencies and uh, it's just clearer. And active pickups don't have to mean it's metal, it's 
uh, you know, the fluent, super, mega clear sound. Yet it is clearer a little bit because of the high frequencies. But it doesn't mean that you're doing the EMG, 80, I don't know the numbers, uh, and you're doing the head feel thing. It doesn't mean that. These are more the classic sounding active pickups. And we move on to sounds. Oh, uh, we talked about specs. Let's look at the body. It's of course, it's a cheap guitar. Um, this is not a two piece body. We're going to go with, I think I counted earlier, one, two, clearly three. So it's a minimum of a three piece body. And I'm good with that. Battery. Uh, guitar's 369. Obviously, it's a three-piece body. I'm going to put something in my ear because it's loud and I have a little bit of a tinnitus, tinnitus, whatever you want to call it. Let's go into the Rev Dynamis, which uh, this camera can get, over there, which has a beautiful clean sound. And we're going to get, well, the three sounds it has. After all those Ibanez videos where I had, you know, 17 sounds for a guitar, this is so nice. <laughs> That does it. Uh, and of course, the amps are all going into the uh, Torpedo Captor X right there and uh, being switched with an ampede switcher right underneath and I've got a remote right here next to me and that's the magic trickery that we do in here. So we're gonna go into load of amps. That already for me is... Love that clarity without sterility. It's not sterile at all, it's just clear. Um, let's go into the Fender Deluxe Reverb right there because that's a very classic sound and can she jazz with the active pickups? Oh yes she can. Ah. I can't do it. I did nothing to the action, nothing on the, to the, nothing, I, you know, Hogan's Heroes, um, to the action on this guitar, and, uh, this is just... Let's go back to the riff. Yeah, that's where we are, yeah. Oh. 
throw some stuff on there. like the people saying you're just a paid shill how can I how can I make this up I mean these comments are completely fucking retarded I'm sorry because how can I make these sounds up what do you think I filter that later you think I play all this again with a better guitar you people are so stupid sometimes not you the other people <laughs> Yeah, but let's let's, let's go to Amsterdam to actually do this. We're gonna move on to the Achilles, which is very very classic, and that's uh, right there, and that's a JTM kind of classic amp that's gonna fart and squeal and do all that stuff. <laughs> Those types of amps actually might not like the activeness. Ref 740 on the Crunch channel is going to, yes, you got it, Crunch. <laughs> I'm gonna be freaking honest. Rarely have I had that much fun with the guitar. Yeah, yeah, it's all paid for. Fuck it. <laughs> to more gain uh, which would be the ref 100 P behind me <laughs> Thank you. 
my own songs. That's utterly ridiculous. And the angle, 829 euro, will sound like this. I'm going to stop this here. Uh, I have a video coming up where I'm comparing this to the custom in case you don't know which one to get. I know it sounds cliche. I know it sounds like, oh, he's worked with Harley Benton so long. But this is phenomenal for the price. And I'm not saying that about a lot of Harley Bentons. L look at my uh, Fusion T video. The pickups weren't delivering. I was like, eh, mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, still for the price. This, I'm going to compare to actually my Prestige Heritage Standard, clocking in at 1150. And yes, I am comparing it to that. Uh, that has Seymour Duncan's in it. It has a thick maple top, a real maple top. No locking tuner. Comes in a case. Okay. It's also 1150. But sound wise and playability, I'm going to say, and okay, fine, crucify me for it, that that's on that level. It's most certainly not 369. It's not even 499. It's not even 699. I had guitars right here on my lap for 699 and 799 that can't even remotely deliver those tones, that playability, locking tuners and active pickups. Hell no. You know who you are. You know who I'm talking about. All I can say, SE 550 Plus, the only problem is going to be getting them because the Quad Factory is pretty booked as far as I know. So if you can get your hands on them, buy now if they're still in stock. If not, put in your order. It might take a while to get them, but damn it, it's worth it. I don't even know how I'm going to send this back. I mean, I have ridiculous guitars, but I'm having ridiculous fun with this. That's it from here. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. Use my links if you can. And uh, we'll put animals always, you know, there. Yeah.